Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Council post. 16 expert tips to help coaches deal with imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is a common experience among coaching clients, particularly those working in demanding or competitive industries. When coaches themselves struggle with feelings of inadequacy and doubt in their abilities, it can not only affect their self-confidence, but also their effectiveness in their work with clients. It is important for a coach suffering from imposter syndrome to find the right strategies to help you develop more confidence in your work and ensure that you are respecting others can help do the same. Understand your own qualities and your talent mix personally. I've found Clifton Strengths to be a game changer because it helps me see when and how I am using my talents and where my weaknesses are. To sharpen my focus on what I do well and how I add value to my customers instead of to hold on to my imperfections. Adriana Kozowska, Zero to Dream Job Work Through It With Your Own Coach Imposter Syndrome is feeling inadequate to participate and contribute to a group or organization. Trainers need a trainer to help them through the emotions of imposter syndrome. We are not supermen and superwomen. We need self-care so that we can be effective thought partners for our clients. Rethink how you view imposter syndrome as coaches. We serve others by coaching from our own experience. Living with imposter syndrome, I've learned to celebrate what it means. That I choose to step out of my comfort zone and take small, sustainable steps forward to settle into my growth zone. It is not just about having more confidence as I can be a very confident cheater. It is about refining our thoughts and feelings first. Paul N. Larson, the Find Your Voice Coaching Institute. Use your experiences with imposter syndrome to help others. I can imagine that even for a very confident person, imposter syndrome can crop up again and again. So in a way it is a good thing or at least there is a positive side to it.